guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah Arinaitwe and this is the bottom of it. And I know you're asking yourself, who is this handsome gentleman here? Huh? Sour. He's coming to introduce himself, yeah? But we have so much in stock for you this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. But for now... <laughs> introduced even if I, even if I haven't been introduced yet mm -hmm. but uh, it's a pleasure to be here but the bottom of it yeah. my name is Samuel Samuel Abajo I am a youtuber as well like Hannah I also have a channel called starting out but you can just look up my name mm -hmm. Samuel Abajo on YouTube but on top of that I also uh, run a business here on campus called M Cozy a company that does laundry for students yeah that's my hustle here in campus and then I am also a student. <laughs> student life is hard. Really, I know. But, and and also also add on these things. Eh? But I am a student here at Makere University doing a Bachelor of Science in Water and Irrigation Engineering. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to ask how what is an engineer doing on YouTube? We'll be coming to that later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we're going to be talking about social media. Yeah. So many people say social media is like a curse onto our generation, right? Ah. People say it's a curse. But for very many various reasons, I could actually agree with them, yeah? Mm. Because look at how we are using social media. They're using it for defamation, yeah. using it for cyberbullying. Personally, I've been cyberbullied before, but thank God I have good friends there. Eh? They need a lot of defending for me. Mm, then we yeah. have theft, false rumors. Look at the COVID-19 rumors. Do you remember those rumors? Uh, things of COVID-19, eh? You'd wonder how, how can people get so intricate, eh? like, how can they concoct something like that and it's really, really almost believable yeah. and people just buy into it. Because I, remember I, have, I have so many friends who till today aren't vaccinated because they still feel that COVID-19 vaccines are from witch doctors. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the memes, eh? yeah, that thing yeah. of 10 years after yeah, taking the COVID-19 vaccine and they show some alien guy who is dehydrated. I'm like, you guys. <laughs> So all those things have been caused because of social media being used in a negative way. But to a larger extent, personally, I feel like social media is a positive influence. What do you think? Yeah, I also think uh, social media is a positive influence. And then the thing is, like, we need to be the ones to drive that narrative for it to actually come true mm -hmm. at a point. So, yeah, at this point we are thinking, but we also recognize its negatives. But yeah. Yeah, so mm. is it an angel or a devil? An angel from heaven. <laughs> Woo, I love discussing. I love discussing this before the chat, before we uh, uh, went to shoot my yeah. guy. Eh? An yeah. angel or, or a, a devil. devil. Then I also looked at it in two ways. It could be an angel, like the ones who are sent from God, like yeah, yeah to send a beautiful message to us. Or it could be like the devil who was an angel and fell from mm -hmm. heaven. Ah, but man, yes, the truth is, uh, social media can be both in very many ways and mm -hmm. of course the devilish part is brought out more because people these days are more attracted to, to bad news yes. like uh we used to say what is this thing uh, was it uh let me see let me see yes yes we used to look at how some channels are exclusively for bad news you yes. know once you turn them on i'm tempted to send them <laughs> Truth is, you guys know them you know them right? you know i know when them you, watch you know bad them. news outrageous you know news those 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 um those Even tabloids those, that come those tabloids that one they come ah. with the most exquisite <laughs> headline and you will click it and the crazy thing is when you click it it's not what you expected it's I like eh? so yeah. yes the devilish part can be very very enhanced but i think it also goes to show that uh, it, it goes to reveal more about humanity yeah? mm. it shows that people deep dark inside are hiding a lot of bad stuff and once they see Bad things out there, they are so attracted to it. So, truth is, eh, 
social media can look bad in very many ways. Yeah. You know, our parents have been blaming uh, us for us. a long time for easily being distracted by social media. Mm-hmm. But it's a bigger entity than we can understand, you yeah. know. We know social media as Facebook, we know it as Instagram, we know LinkedIn, it as Twitter, Twitter LinkedIn, YouTube, YouTube, Snapchat. Snapchat. They, they are going on Snapchat. I don't know. I'll make a, je- <laughs> I'll make a big announcement. You're, you're on Snapchat. Nah, but I'll be on some people's snaps. Oh, okay. <laughs> but like, the whole point is. It's a very big concept that mm-hmm. is so so immense to understand. Facebook has 2.2 billion users since mm-hmm. its inception, like 2004, the early 2000s. Yeah. And then we also we, we know the old population something between 7 billion to maybe only 10 billion in, in later years. So 2.2 billion is big. Eh? Yeah. Few people can even reach like a billion users worldwide. Yes. TikTok recently hit 1 billion. You know, like suddenly people have got to know what is trending. Eh? Over time, there was a time when blogs were the big biggest thing, thing eh? like yeah. text was the biggest thing. Then soon people realized that, you know, uh, audio is going to come up, it's going to be big. Then video came. Actually, I think video came first, then audio, because podcasts are starting to... To rise mm, right now. I so, think I so know fast. about like six friends who are doing podcasting. Yeah. And I might be joining podcasting as well, you never know. Ah, I was also telling myself, by the way, podcasting, it's something I'd also want to do, but uh, it doesn't have a very direct way of monetization. Yeah. Uh, so there's all, there's all YouTube gives you a first good chance. Eh, at Keep a thing about how to make money. <laughs> hey. ah, it's life, it's life, eh? where the struggle. Yeah. My whole point is, it's such a big concept that beyond our understanding, and by the mere fact that these companies were able to get the attention of so many people worldwide, yeah. so people had to invest largely behind it, and soon enough it became the big thing we see today. Social media, those big companies that are worth God knows how many billion dollars. Mm-hmm. I have the stats, but man, I want to buy that first with them. <laughs> so, we are looking mainly today at the pros of social media, because then again, social media is neutral. It just depends on how you use it. Are you using it for the positive? Are you using it for the negative? But for us as content creators, social media is like <laughs> kryptonite. Mm-hmm. Let's say kryptonite. What's what's that? There's something that Superman is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kryptonite. kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like kryptonite. Like it is so strong. You can use it to build your brand like beyond your imagination. And part of the pros of uh, social media is that it doesn't discriminate. Yes. Whether you're an artist like myself or an engineer scientist, like it doesn't discriminate. You can still use social media for whatever. Uh, have you ever had people telling you like, um, Sam, what are you doing on YouTube? You're a scientist, man. You should be in class reading books. Like, what are you doing? It's like a misconception people have that artists do that stuff, the TikToks and all that stuff. And scientists just stick to the books and the mathematics. Have you had people like ask you such kind of questions? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a, maybe maybe they may not tell it to you directly, okay. but you just feel the atmosphere around yeah. it. Eh? Like. Like what are you doing on YouTube? What, eh? what you doing? Or maybe they would ask you generally because uh, most people since they don't have the courage to go and do it, they'll watch you from afar. If you're failing, some will come at you, some may not. I know. Then if you're yeah, if you're winning, then they'll be there to, to you know, support you and be like, yes, yeah, my guy. Like generally, I love the whole thing of where you say that social media is uh, is a tool. It can yes. be used either for good or bad. Yeah. Actually, that's why we say that it just brings out what is what is inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what is inside humanity yeah. because. Yes, social media has been used for some of the, the worst of things, but probably in some places it has been able to save lives. Mm. Uh, we know, uh, it, what, what did you say about what? The, the last part you said, the scientists and artists. Yeah? Yes, scientists um, and artists. You'll actually find that truth is, when you, when, when you want to see the channels that probably get a lot of views, mm. let's say on YouTube, or let's say when you also go on social media platforms, you're going yeah. to find you know, musicians, artists, artists yeah. dancers. So when you see them dominating it, you kind of feel like, okay, where, where can the scientists fit around here? Mm-hmm. But I can tell you, and I think most people know, especially in our classes of engineering, mm. most of our lectures have really been on YouTube. Like, I think the Indians have maximized it so much. The Indians have come to save thousands of lives. My God, they can calculate things that in class looked astronomical, and, impossible, and, and somehow you get, and somehow you get to like understand how they're actually calculating it compared to your lecturer. I don't know, these guys have some bit of magic. I yeah? tell you, like I really, really tell you. <laughs> so, as a journalist, um, as an artist, um, as a journalist in the making, I don't call myself a journalist yet. Yeah. I'm a Declaration journalist of in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
in the making. I use mm -hmm. my social media so much. I'm talking about YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, um, which is on Snapchat. I use almost every TikTok. I began my TikTok, and it's been a very huge. It's, it's given me like a lot of huge influences, and also because um, I've been able to get in contact with like companies or people who are helping me like grow my brand and all that. So I feel like it is so. We are so lucky to have such a power in the palm of our hands. I guess you can use in your comfort zone. Like you're in bed, but you're still doing some business. You're still pushing your account. You yeah. don't have to go to office to push your account or push your information and all that. So another reason as to why I feel social media is a very huge plus to us is because it helps us connect with big companies and big people. Yeah. When you tag them to your work, they get to see you. They're like, okay, who is this person? So um, I had a debate with a couple of friends that telling me that, Hannah, you make it sound so easy. Hmm? You mean like if you tag them, they just start say, yeah, supporting you and all that stuff. But then I, I decided to do like my own investigation. Yes, yes. So I DM'd eight top journalists in the country. I won't say names because yeah, privacy and all that. So I DM'd eight. One person responded. Uh, two people read my messages and five people screened me. Now that is still, yeah, they scared me, but I still uh -huh. felt like it was a sort of like achievement. Mm, a what? learning experience. A learning experience. Yes, yes. It's not like I was rejected in love, it's just <laughs> business. But um, it, it, it kind of gave me an opportunity to shoot my shot. Like if there was no social media, how in the world would I ever send a message to someone like, I don't know, Samson Kasumba? I'm just a student here at Macquarie University. Where would I meet him? But social media gives you an advantage because you get to shoot your shot to one of the biggest companies or the biggest people. And actually, I got to speak to one of them and we became kind of friends because we ended up meeting up at some other media competition and all that stuff. So social media gives you an ability to like shoot your shot. Yeah, have you ever shot your shot? <laughs> yeah, I actually shot my shot. And whenever I think about it, yeah, yeah, well, well. well, well, well. <laughs> Well in, well in, well in. But you know, uh, while you are speaking, I remember one thing I usually say, uh, talk about with one of my best friends that he says that a man misses a hundred percent of the shots he doesn't take. Yeah? So the truth is, yes, the, your friends may, may say that it, it sounds easy, right? Yeah. But the truth is, if you don't try, if you, you don't roll that dice, yeah, you really will never know. The people yeah. who took the people who took the risk on certain things that looked impossible, stupid ruckus are the ones who led to big things yeah. today but now like oh, i also, also had my opportunity mm. to send messages here yeah, to some of the big business leaders that i wanted to associate okay. with yeah. right so i sent messages to <laughs> two of them i think i was lazy i was in like think, yeah. <laughs> i think I, I can guess who one of those was ah, 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 it's sure. like, um, you yeah? It's, I, it's, it's him it's actually. Him. Yeah, it's him. I actually showed uh, two of them. I think I was also strategic. Eh? Yeah. I did it on LinkedIn, and mm -hmm. there's a way. There's a way it's LinkedIn, professional. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's professional. Yeah. And you, it's a, there's a way LinkedIn people are doing it by themselves these days. I don't think some people who are let's say in the older generation or even middle age generation would be there spending time on Instagram mm -hmm. choosing the nicest no. picture with the finest filters. But LinkedIn, like there, they are speaking professionally and to some extent it, it almost becomes professionally personal and mm -hmm. so yeah i was able to shoot my i was able to shoot my shots as you call it eh? how do you go surprisingly like almost instantly or within <laughs> that day one of them responded and then the other person responded the next day and let's say one of them it was okay it was almost it was almost so like i could i could feel like it was the person who was speaking uh -huh. and then yeah when they ended it i was like this is more than enough i don't think i'm going any further than this and then the other person was a little bit since they are Uganda, eh? yeah as a little bit more uh how do you call it i pushed a little bit more mm -hmm. but at a certain point i, I felt like, i pushed back yeah. so i was like okay okay yeah let's calm down at least the two people i tried things moved eh? yeah, yeah. Actually, one thing, one thing while you are talking about how social media is, it gives an equal opportunity to different people, yeah? There's a way, even just how YouTube works, you know, it's all about the statistics. Yes. It's not about, let's say, how you look, where or you're from. Exactly. Yeah, and then now, eh, business-wise, eh, which that poor dad once was talking about how 90% uh, of the world's resources are held in the top, by the top, like, 10% of the world's population, yeah? 
and for many years it has been that way mm -hmm. from the time when there was royalty and you knew you could never become wealthy to the time maybe when people moved to america and started making big, big fortunes of their own the trend just kept happening that way but with social media with a big platform where almost everybody Everyone can is, come yeah. and actually everybody can win i talk a lot about this on my channel that we can actually many people can win many people can be rich many people can be well off it's mm -hmm. so that one person becoming better is you know T taking off another, another. You, because man the population of this world is so big if yeah. we are all delivering value to them the truth is we would all have a lot to reap so he generally said that for the first time in so many centuries of human existence mm. it may be possible for more than 10% uh, of the world's wow. population to hold whatever what is it called yeah to hold 90% of the world's resources because wow. it is so spread out wow. and then still they are all delivering a lot of value they're all making big money so yeah that's just something that came to mind so now we're going to give you guys a few tips on how to use your social media in a positive way to build yourself whether it's business wise or just personal branding